just some quick pearls. Slow down uh, on your initial consult. I usually take an hour uh, on the first consult, and this is for serious, you know, my bone gland dysfunction, dry eye. Um, for treatment protocol, but that's, as somebody was saying before, that's kind of minimum if you start getting those severe, severe patients who've seen five doctors and stuff, usually for treatment protocol is not gonna do it for them. Uh, maintenance can be anywhere from three months to a year, but I don't let them go further than a year for maintenance. So even that three year patient, I would, I would tell them, look, you need to come in uh, once a year. Um, I've had patients who have uh, tried to extend that out and go, well, I was feeling good. And then what you'll find is if they go past a year, then you actually have to do multiple treatments to get them back to where they were. So don't let them get, get away from you for more than a year. Um, you can discuss the medical and aesthetic benefits. So I've uh, got this um, CFO from a billion dollar company that has been getting IPLs for 20 years and he loves bringing the board meeting uh, pictures where he's getting younger looking and everybody else is getting older in the last 20 years. So there's, there's that. So when people ask me, you know, what are the side effects of, what are the bad side effects of IPL? I tell them you'll, you'll look younger. Um, and I think this is the gateway to getting into aesthetics. IPL is a great way. And, and even if you don't think you're gonna get into aesthetics, patients will pull you in that uh, direction because they'll see the benefits to their skin. So they'll ask you about their kids for their acne. They'll ask you about, hey, can you get rid of this brown spot with IPL? Uh, can you do facial rejuvenation over the face? And facial rejuvenation is different than an IPL treatment. An IPL treatment is ear to ear. Why do we do ear to ear? We actually did three experiments. We did ear to ear versus lids uh, versus face. Ear to ear, uh, was just as good as full face. When you're getting in the full face, then you have to be really careful with energy. If you have questions on how to do a full face with a dry eye treatment, we can talk about it uh, during the demonstration. Um, I think Optilite is part of a contact lens uh, practice. Um, most, a lot of patients quit contact lenses because of uh, dry eye. It's a great way to correct their dry eye and then um, go ahead and get them back in their contact lenses. I also have been doing um, refractive surgery on dry eye patients, but I tell them what we're gonna do is improve and get your uh, tear film at its optimum and do the treatment. So right now, uh, I've actually switched from uh, LASIK uh, over to Smile. Let's see if I get a response from Dr. Wolf. <laughs> For a smaller, uh, for a smaller uh, incision in these dry eye patients, and we've talked about that. Um, so patients know that we're a dry eye practice walking in because there's so many. You know, as soon as they walk in, ask it says ask about um, one of our dry eye studies, and then there's uh, pamphlets there talking about dry eye, and there's questionnaires there, do you have dry eye? Uh, go ahead and fill out this questionnaire. So it, the techs talk to them uh, about it. So it, it's very aware in the clinic that, hey, this is a dry eye clinic. We're doing all the rest of this stuff, ophthalmology, aesthetics, and all this other stuff, but they're hit immediately uh, with dry eye. And social media, cultivate referrals, be accessible to your dry eye patients. Again, I, I give my, and. I actually see the severe dry eye patients and then the other doctors in the practice see the, the day-to-day -day, uh, mild patients. So, so this is an interesting study that showed dry eye patients spend close to $1,700 a year uh, on drops and warm compresses and all these other crazy things. So uh, I know there's a little bit of a barrier to talking to patients about fee for service. Um, and basically my time is uh, up, but don't, don't get into that um, pattern of, okay, I really don't want to recommend IPL because it's a fee for service uh, and this patient might not be able to afford it. This, they are already spending the money on all this crap that does not work 
Um, and you know I'm very opinionated on the crap, uh, so I don't have to <laughs> get into it. But they're already spending, give them, you know, give them something that actually uh, works, uh, will rejuvenate, uh, will get the meibomian glands working, as he was saying before, uh, getting to the root, root cause.